Okay, so we're going to do uh, 8.4, 1 and 2 in this video. Um, first of all, they're asking you for 6C3, and I just wanted to remind you that there is something called Pascal's Triangle. So this first one that I did right here, when I say 0C something, there's only one thing you can put there, 0C0, zero zero, which is 1, and then this one, you could do 1C0, which is one, or you could do one C one, which is also one. And then here, two C one, or excuse me, start with two C zero, two C one, and two C two. And and it just keeps on going. So this row right here is what you'd probably call the sixth row, you know, because you start with a zero row and a row one, two, three, four, five, six. There are seven terms here. And if I did six C zero all the way to 6 C 6 you know 1 2 3 4 5 in the middle here there are seven answers so basically this one is 6 C 0 this one is 6 C 1 this one is 6 C 2 and this one over here is 6 C 3 and so I already know my answer is 20 by using Pascal's triangle. Now, what I can show you on the calculator is type in the six first and then go to math and slide over to what we call the probability menu. Select NCR and then type in three. So we also get 20. The reason why I'm showing you Pascal's triangle is maybe for the first four, five, six, seven roll, rows here, you might use the triangle. But when you start getting to numbers like 17 C10, I would never, I would never write that many rows of Pascal's triangle. So here I would definitely go to my calculator and type in 17 math, slide to probability, and put in my second number. 17 math slide over there grab my NCR so 7 17 C 10 19,448 so you can use the calculator or Pascal's triangle work smarter not harder